what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and uh, happy new year hope you all had a, a blessed day bringing into the new year i know me and doc are going to try to start that way this morning uh, we came out to a, a spot that we haven't fished yet so we're going to try to said same structure like yesterday the day before um, it's, it's shell reef uh, this is going to be new to us it's a new spot so we're going to kind of work it out walk it get a feel for it we already got tons of bait we got bait jumping so we're hoping there's going to be fish in the area um so we got a like a north wind today not blowing a whole bunch it's going to pick up later on this afternoon and we're going to see if we can't get on some fish you know so if you're new to the channel please like comment subscribe uh hit that notification bell so you can get all my recent videos give me a like share you know help the channel grow and let's bring in the new year right so i'll see y'all out there got one doc got one on? yeah he's not huge but i caught him more on the bar waist deep this guy this guy inhaled this bait Look at that. Just inhaled it. He, I mean, skinny fish. First fish of the morning. Yeah, on that soft Dyne XL, that pure silver. <clears throat> He's probably just shy of 14. I mean, 15, but, you know, first fish. Let me get him unhooked and back in the water. Oh, there he goes. See you, bud. Just a little, little 15 this morning. Like I said, we're walking on this oyster bar, and I'm still throwing this uh, Soft Dine XL Pure Silver. You know, it worked the other day, and it seemed like it's working right now because the water's real, real clear. What's that? Is he skinny? Yeah, real skinny. Just, just 15. Uh, water's still probably like 53, 54, but like I said, super clear. You know, we're like just under waist deep water right now. And I kind of caught him on the bar. First hit this morning and, you know, 15 minutes in right now. Like I said, we got a minor at 920, I believe. So we still got some time. But we're just going to kind of work this bar and kind of figure it out for ourselves. Like I said, doing a little exploring and trying to figure out this, this reef that we got here that runs to that pole. It's 823 right now. Yeah, so it runs from, I think this pole out this way, and I think there's another reef further out, but we don't know if we can reach it yet, but we're gonna, kind of like I said, explore this area and try to figure out how it works, how it runs. But there's tons of bait out here. The thing with shell out here being on an oyster reef, it should drop off on one of these sides, on both sides. But when you're working it, you want to kind of walk lightly. You don't want to just stomp on the shell and crush it because the fish can hear that. So you don't want to spook them off the reef. And just kind of step lightly, kind of feel around as you're going. And we'll work it slow. I mean, it's cold out here anyways. You know, you ain't got to move super fast. But also, like I was saying, if you catch a fish, kind of work that area for a little bit before you kind of wait on, you know, 15 minutes or so. However you, what do you think? You know, if you don't catch them in again, then just kind of keep working down. And I'm just working this this uh, soft dine. I'm letting it drop, giving it about a five to eight second pause, letting it fall and twitch, twitch. Sometimes I'll do it three times, just depending. And if you're working it too slow, you'll feel it bump the, the bottom, you know, the shell or...
There's a thump. Oh, I missed it. Right there. Thumped it hard. Must have been a little guy. Doc hooked up. Pumper. Oh, <laughs> gingerbread? <laughs> that one's uh, royal grape. <clears throat> well, I had one thump it, but he wasn't. Mo better. You got a, you got you one? I you know I I do I even have them on discount. It's on clearance rack. <laughs> There's one on the fall. Stay on fish. It might be a better one. Might be a better one. They'd be my my three pounder, you know. I know it's wishful. I know it's wishful thinking, but it'd be nice to record, get my first first fish in for the first year for that turn that heavy hitters program. But it's it's definitely not that though, but it's definitely better though. Oh, it's a good fish. It's I mean maybe 16 maybe. Maybe. What are you saying about them little ones? Right. Right. Don't come off. Oh, don't give me a trouble. There you go. There you go. Like see, it's better. This one, oh wait, that's that's my 17 marker. This one's this one's probably 18. Let me just check the bogus. Let me just bogo him. He's probably like a pound and a half. If I had to guess. Yeah, he's like a pound and a half. Yeah, gotta double it. You know? <laughs> I was like, did I feel a chill in the air? Is that a, you know? There's another one. A lot of head shade. I think he's little though. But it's kind of eerie, you know what I mean, as it's just kind of coming along. If y'all can tell, you can see where the reef is and it kind of slowly drops off. So I'm not really standing and catching in between the drop off and a little bit further out there. Just like last time we were in catching some just off the edge of it. So you don't want to get too close. It's still a good fish. Got it all in her mouth. Probably 
17 and a half. Came back and got it. Man, the only bad thing about these treble hooks. And this fish has got some, sh it's got some shoulders. Something. You want to keep this one or let it go? If it, is it skinny? If she's skinny, no. If she's skinny, let her go. She's a fatty. I'll let her go. I'll let her go. Oh yeah, here it comes. Oh, that's, that's a better fish. a longer one. Probably about an 18. Solid fish. I just don't know if I want to keep this one or not. Okay. Well, we're going to let this one go. It's probably about 18. There she goes. Tossing, tossing. Doc's hooked up too. Now these are a lot better fish. They're and as I said, this wind, this this front, whatever's blowing in, you know, and we're in that that minor time, might be really heating up these fish. I mean, that's another another solid price, 17 and a half. Like I said, you know, better fish, but I'm gonna let them go. Box hooked up. He's throwing the old penny on Nick's STX. Looks like a better fish. Oh, oh no, it's still, it's still on there. At least I think that's the same fish. It felt like it came off. Yeah, it might've ran at me. That's, looks like a better fish. He's all wrapped. Shit. 
Doesn't have, doesn't look like she's got really, really good hooked. Oh yeah, she's not hooked very well. Not hooked very well. There we go. Better fish. Better fish. Really good fish. Let's see if she makes three. I'll be excited if she makes three pounds. Maybe not. No, just two. I mean, it's on two on my bogus. I wonder if I should try to weigh her on the scale. Oh, you didn't bring your yellow scale? It's on the boat. I think I might try to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to and just see. Yeah, it's about right on my bogus. Only two pounds. Yeah, two pounds. All right. We're gonna let her go. But healthy fish. Healthy fish. Oh my God. Picture. Real quick. All right. We're gonna let her go. Drive her and here she goes. Hey, that soft Dyn XL, that pure silver is just working the day. It is working. Let me get back out there and try it again. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> 